What's poppin'? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to my second channel. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. On this channel, I will be doing a lot of cases back on this channel. A lot of people have been hitting me up about the Kanika, and they've been saying, Zillionaire, um, since you've been gone, it's a lot of bad information on YouTube, and you need to get back on here. I keep getting so many emails about this, and like I keep telling y'all, I was going to leave the case alone. But... As I do my research and I look at YouTube, I see so many people disrespecting her case with a bunch of nonsense. OK, as a lot of you know, who've been following me on all my channels, I was on this case when it first happened, even before it blew up, before we even realized how big this case was. I was already on the case about two months in. And the next thing I know, it just blew up. All right. Now, I want to break some stuff down about this case. I want to break down the facts. I know a lot of people like the fictional side of the Kanika story. And this is why I'm going to go back on this channel and break down a lot of this. This Separate the facts from the fiction. Now, if you want to hear the fictional side, the false side of Kanika's story, you need to go to another channel. If you just want to hear a bunch of stupid stuff and you're just addicted to the story, I get it. You got to understand, some people are just addicted to the story. They're not addicted to the truth or the facts within the story. And this is where I come in at. OK, now I want to break this case. This case is about gang stalking and organ trafficking. I'm going to say this again. This case is about gang stalking and organ trafficking. And I'm going to break down why this case is about gang stalking and organ trafficking. First, number one, let's get to the gang stalking part before we get to the organ trafficking part. OK, now understand. Gang stalking is when you target an individual, um, it's either for gang retaliation or it's for a gang initiation. I'm going to say it again. Gang stalking is basically when you target an individual for a gang initiation or gang retaliation. Now, there's word on the street that Kanika, you know, she has two brothers. One brother's dead. Uh, I don't know if they have the same fathers or what, but I don't think her and Kenny has the same father. I don't know if her other brother did. Now... Um, they're saying her brothers and her uncle, you know, Jay Money is dead. They said that her, her people's had some beef on the street. This is what was said. Don't know if it's true or not. Sometimes when the smoke is fire, sometimes people can make up stuff. But from what I understand and doing my research, her brothers were into the streets, were into gangs. Jay Money, they were into that type of lifestyle. And there was some beef going on between rival gangs. Now, also, you got to understand, you got females who are part of gangs. Now, you know Ty that was at the party. You know Ty and his sister. All right, they were at the party. Now, Ty is part of those black disciples or whatever you want to call them. And you got to understand Ty's sister, she's the one that initiates the girls into the gangs. Okay? At this time, she was like one of the females that initiated the girls into the gangs. Now, you got young Kanika, you got young Shemaya, you got young Brianna. You got young Irene Roberts, okay? You got these four young girls. And, of course, they want to be in the in crowd. They're going to all the parties. They're going here. They're going there. No matter what the beef is, no matter what this is, they're here and there. Now, you know in Chicago, to be initiated, you have to either kill somebody, beat somebody up, set somebody up. You have to do something foul or criminal to prove that you are down for the cause, okay? Now, from my recollection and research, Monifa and Shemaya, and I know Irene Roberts was already down with, with certain gangs. She was already in there. But I know Monifa and Shemaya, they're trying to be a part of the gang culture in Chicago. And as y'all know, the gang culture in Chicago is very real. It's murders and deaths every day. Chicago has the highest crime rate. And they have the least murder solved, the least murder solved. I'm going to say this again. They have the highest crime rate, but they don't serve. They don't solve any murders like that. OK, and I'm trying to tell you this. And this is where we're going to lead to the organ trafficking part is because how Chicago and Rosemont had one of the biggest organ traffickings in the United States. They were transporting infected organs all over the state. But I'm going to get to that in a minute. Get to the go back to the gang stalking. All right. So, you know, she was last seen with who? Monifa and Shemaya. They were the last ones to see her. If you watch, uh, uh, if you even study law, if you study crime, even if you watch First 48 and a lot of these crime videos or crime TV shows, 
what do they do? They ask you who are the last person they were seen with. That is always the first question. Who are the last people this person was with? Because that tells you a lot about the case. It could give you a lead. And this is why investigators, they look for leads. Leads mean they, it's leading you to the truth. That's why they call it leads. Because it's taking you. It's leading you to the truth. Now, Shemaya Monifa, as we saw in the video, Kanika wanted to leave. She did not want to be at the party. They would not take they would not give her her keys to take her home. They waited till she got pissy drunk. And after they put something in her drink, as we saw in the video, they said, give that drink to that girl. Give the drink to that girl. Kanika was the only one at that party that was messed up. The only one she because she was targeted. That's what gang stalkers do. They target you. She was the only one messed up at the party. Nobody was messed up like her. She was a targeted individual. That's gang stalking. Monifa and Shamaya, they wanted to be initiated into a gang. All right? They could care less about Kanika. And I showed videos about uh, some of the shady stuff that Shamaya used to say about Kanika. I posted a video with Shamaya called Kanika a snitch. You don't uh, live on Facebook and you don't play like that in Chicago. You don't even joke like that in Chicago to call somebody a snitch. Okay, that you really put a target on their back. And then I posted a video where uh, they were on the corner and they kept putting the camera on Kanika. Um, they just kept putting the camera on Kanika. And it was just like, wow, why do they keep... And the guy kept talking to her saying, yeah, people have been looking for you. People have been talking about you. Everybody's out there. But he keeps focusing the camera on Kanika. Letting everybody know she's the target. That's gang stalking. Okay. Now, they set this girl up. They got her to the hotel uh, at the party. Uh, people that were at the party, a lot of them were former workers of the of, of uh, uh, the Crown Plaza Hotel. A lot of them already knew the ins and outs of the hotel. They knew all the back ways, side way. They knew everything about the hotel. They knew the whole layout. Okay, And understand this. They lured her to wherever her death was, and they put her in that freezer. Okay, They lured her to her death. And put her in that freezer. Understand this. Now let's get to the organ trafficking part. All right. Now Rosemont have a, has a history, and it's it's too much to put in one video. So that's why I'm gonna start going live a lot, talking about this stuff, um, and we're gonna be breaking all this down, because um, I also want to break down all the organ trafficking that's going on in the black community. A lot of a lot of black people being targeted for their organs. Okay. Understand. That's why the movie Get Out was so famous they were auctioning off black people's organs and um you know it's really deep this organ trafficking thing now chicago and rosemont has the biggest organ trafficking business in the united states they transport port, they transporting bodies all over the all over the uh united states arizona los angeles atlanta phoenix all these places they're transporting organs so it's a big organ trafficking uh, 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 thing going on. And I want you to look it up. And at Schiller Park, at Schiller Park in Chicago, is when the FBI raided the warehouse that was full of freezers with bodies in them. They put bodies in freezers to preserve the organs. Kanika was placed in a freezer to preserve her organs. That was the purpose. So y'all got to understand the purpose of why she was put in a freezer. That's why you put bodies in free. Like the answers are right in front of our faces, but some people rather run with the fantasy and the fiction. But me, so you know, I deal with the facts. That's why a lot of people don't like me, because I point out the facts. All right? That's why you put bodies in freezers. That's why there's so much death and murder in Chicago and Rosemont, is because they take these bodies and they take their organs and they sell their organs. That's why they don't have, um, how can I put it? That's why they don't solve murders in Rosemont or Chicago is because of the organ trafficking. It's more money in organ trafficking. All right. Now, also, I'm going to get to this. You got the guy um, years ago, um, this chief of police named Frank Siciano, Frank Siciano, he blew the whistle on Rosemont police. He said the Rosemont police department are corrupt. They're crooked. They cover up crimes and they work with criminals. Okay. You could, all this information I'm giving you, you can look up the organ trafficking in Schiller Park, all this stuff. The, the, the chief, is, the chief, the former police captain that blew the whistle, uh, Frank Siciano, he, he exposed how corrupt they are and how wicked Rosemont are when it comes to uh, uh, 
corruption. They are very corrupt. And as you know, the people that run Rosemont, they have mafia ties, mob ties, ties with the elites. I mean, all this stuff, man. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Um, the Stevens family, they run Rosemont. And you know their part. They have their hand in the organ trafficking business. They have their hand in the drug business. They have their hands in all kind of corrupt business. Okay, a lot of stuff. And they also been investigated for, for drugs. That's a whole nother video. But I just want to show you how higher up the crypt. The, uh, the corruption is like the Bible says spiritual wickedness in high places. It's corrupt. They don't solve murders. They don't care about that. Organ trafficking and getting uh, body parts is one of, is a multi-billion dollar business in the United States illegally. I'm going to say it again. Organ trafficking is a multi-billion dollar business illegally in the United States. And they keep it under wraps because there's a lot of money in it. Funeral homes be involved coroners be involved cops police um a lot of these places some of these hotels they help harvest organs like the crown plaza hotel uh, i'm telling you it's very wicked and very corrupt all right and that's where the organ trafficking business comes in all right i'm gonna be going live on the show because i want to break down this a lot to cover a lot to talk about so this is like a pre-show to what i'm about to do because i'm tired of people disrespecting her case disrespecting her name so i'm going to be i'm still going to be a gatekeeper of this kanika case and i'm gonna give you the facts and we bounce off of facts okay i don't bounce off of he say she say you cannot solve a case with he say she say you can only solve a case with facts and leads and you can lead up to where the case is going all right a lot of people on youtube just running their mouth talking just to talk some people just want fiction i love facts that's what I love. Maybe that's why I like watching First 48. I like how they get to the facts of a case. I love First 48. They get to the facts and it leads them to the truth. And then they solve the case. All this he say, she say crap, man. They said, nah, let's get out of here with that. I'm your boy, Zillia Dan. It's sad that Teresa Martin will not get this case reopened. Like Kanika, like, uh, um, what's his name? Kendra Johnson's mother. She, get, she got the case reopened and they're taking it to trial. Kanika's mother only cares about money, and that's a whole nother topic. I'm out of here. I'll be going live doing cases on this channel, and I'll be back on the Kanika case because a lot of you are disrespecting her case, disrespecting uh, uh, how she died. You're disrespecting. You, you, you're morally uh, messed up on this case, and it's sad. When I first did this case, it hit me home with me because I, I have younger sisters. I, have, I grew up with younger sisters. When they're grown, we know my sisters are grown now. But I grew up with younger sisters, and when the Kanika story hit, I thought about my little sister. I wish people would have done this to my sister. And it's sad, you don't hear her brother saying nothing or anything. And it's just crazy, y'all. But it's too much to put in one video. But I wanted to just to make that summary of this case. And also, you had a father and son that got accused of, of trafficking organs, okay? So, it, 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 I mean, man, it, it's just all kind of stuff, man. It's just... It's a big business there. Gangs and organ trafficking. Gangs and organ trafficking work hand in hand in Chicago, in Rosemont, in that city, in that circumference, man. It's a big business. I'm gone. Put your thoughts in the comments. I will be back on the Kanika case. I'm sick of y'all disrespecting her case and disrespecting what happened to this young lady just for YouTube views and all this stupid stuff. If you want YouTube views, get to the facts of the case. Give people good information, all right? Let's stop with the fictional story, and let's stick to the facts. And then let's go from there. I'm out of here.